Hey, this is my face. <laughs> As I said before, sorry if you're disappointed. <laughs> um, I'm about to finish this uh, watercolor sketch of uh, the house in New Bern, North Carolina. And I thought I would just project it a little bit differently or show you a little bit different view. I'm going to turn the camera around now. I'll show you some of the details. Will it get in focus? Will it? There it will. There. Good job. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. For those of you who are haven't been with me thus far, um, there's the photograph I'm working from. There's the sketch that I've done. And uh, I'm very, very nearly finished. I want to show you a trick. First of all, I've got a, a brush, watercolor brush in my hand, right? The opposite end, let me get that in focus, the opposite end of the watercolor brush. Uh, there we go. I stuck in a pencil sharpener for two reasons. One, I needed the uh, I needed the brush to be shorter than it was to fit in a certain carrier. And the other reason is so I could do things like this. So one of the things I did, can it get in focus? Come on, come on, come on. Okay, I have to pull it back. Uh, is I've done a bunch of uh, opaque, essentially gouache, opaque watercolor stuff here to hit highlights. But they look pasted on and artificial until I come in and do this. So I've just got the wooden sharp end of uh, my pencil. I don't know if you can see that. Come on, come on, focus. There we go. So up here, you'll notice I have not, not, not done that. And down here, there we go. Down here I have. And you see how this looks so much more uh, organic and like it, like it, like it fits in. Sorry for shaking you around a little bit, but let me show you just some details of how this is done. Come on, camera. There you go. Okay, so it's just basically the end of the the wooden end is wet, and then with the sharpened stick, I come in here and soften not every edge, but most of the edges. Here's something I've learned really well in this last year. There's much more great of a danger of too many hard edges than too many soft edges. You almost can't have too many soft edges, but it's easy to have too many hard edges. That's in oil painting, and I think it's probably quite a bit true also in watercolor. So just by coming in here and softening all of these edges, I'm hoping also that my, my cheat... Uh, and some of you know what I mean by that. Using an opaque paint in watercolor is cheating. <laughs> As I said yesterday, though, however, if some of the best watercolors in the world, like Alvaro Castanet, can cheat, then why can't I? I don't know. Come on. Is that going to get in focus? I'm sorry. Oh, having a hard time getting it to focus. And I know I'm shaking you all over the place. My apologies. I'll put you back on a tripod in just a minute. In fact, here, I've got this little bitty tripod. Let me carry you around to part of my studio. Here it is. I'm sorry. I walked the wrong direction. It's over here. I'm going to turn the camera around for a second. Just so I stop. <laughs> I'm driving you nuts, aren't I? Sorry about that. I'm still driving you nuts. And I keep hitting camera turn around. Symbol. There we go. Okay, so I've got this nifty little uh, tripod that I just bought the other day. A tripod for holding cameras. Oh, and here all of a sudden I just realized there's a major flaw in their design. Um, it only holds cameras sideways in, in portrait. Boy. Okay, so now I know. Whoops, whoops. Not a good idea. In my opinion, not a good product at all. Wow, they get a real negative. There's no way to turn it um, vertical, so you can't even use it for Facebook. Wow. Okay, didn't notice that when I bought it. I know they were cutting corners, but really, they just needed one more swivelly piece to make it able to hold. So I'm holding the 
well, you guys are seeing a horizontal image, aren't you? There we go. I was going to say, I'm holding it there so you can see it. Well, I wasn't. Now I am. Anyway. Okay. I You don't need to watch me do too much of this. Let me show you. Here's some, some of the branches. Same thing down here. I've got opaque paint indicating uh, sunlight hitting some of these branches down there. Do you see that? I'm going to call that good enough. Thanks for watching. I am going to post this finished image on my Facebook very shortly. And uh, thanks for watching another daily art adventure. We'll do it tomorrow again. Thanks for watching. Bye.